Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Donna Gray. I'm a stamping up demonstrator in the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. I'm bringing you a beautiful glittery Christmas card today using our Peaceful Bows bundle. So we have our Peaceful Bows stamp set and our Peaceful Bows uh, matching framelits, which is absolutely, if you didn't catch the card that I did um, a few days ago, which was this gorgeous one. I'm now going to create some uh, another card, but just with a little bit of a different colour scheme, but still glittery and shimmery and using some of these gorgeous framelits that we have. So I just pop that aside. So I've cut a few things beforehand so that it saves us a little bit of time. So I have a Knight of Navy card base. Now my card base is cut at five and three quarter inches this way by eight inches this way. And I'm just going to fold that in half and get that ready for the base of my card. So I'm just going to, with the bone folder, crease that really nicely. And that will give us a card front of four inches by five and three quarter inches. So I have two layers here. This one here is three and three quarter inches by five and a half inches. This one here is our beautiful frosted foliage designer series paper. Um, and good news, this paper is actually going to get carried through to our next holiday catalog. So um, I think everybody loved it so much that um, they're going to keep it around. So it will be unorderable after our holiday catalog finishes now, but we'll carry through to our next holiday catalog next year for Christmas as well. So it's absolutely a gorgeous piece of designer series paper. Now I've cut this one at three and five eighths by five and three eighths. So it's an eighth of an inch smaller than my Knight of Navy layer. So I'm just going to, with some liquid Tombow, I'm just going to glue that to my Knight of Navy layer. And I want this pattern to be coming down from up the top because I'm then going to glue these gorgeous glimmery bows that I have already cut out with my Big Shot die cutting machine and the framelit. So I'm just gonna poke a few of those little bits out that are still in there. So my idea was to arrange this nicely coming down from this corner and have a beautiful spray of these bowels coming down from that corner. So I'll just pop out those few little bits. So this is um, cut out of our white glimmer paper which is really, really nice. Now they have changed our glimmer paper that it no longer sheds the glitter like it used to. So it's wonderful. You can use it and you can um, rub your fingers on it and none of the glitter comes off, which is absolutely wonderful. So I'm going to arrange that. I think that one wants to come down through there too. And I'll just poke out those few little bits of this one here. And I think I want to, no, I'm gonna pop them all coming from the one direction. I might actually even trim that because I want that to come in and then. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this piece on first. Coming from up in that corner. So I'm going to just pop some liquid Tombow on the back. You don't need a lot of glue and it's totally okay for this to be um, moving around a little bit and a bit free off at the front of our card. That's totally okay. So I'm just going to pop that up in the corner of that layer. I'll get rid of that base so we can see where we're going. I'm okay that it's going to go off the edges a little bit. That's totally okay. So I'm just gonna pop that on there and hold that down until the glue takes hold. So as you can see, you don't need a lot of glue for that to take hold. I feel like I wanna trim that one, so I'm just gonna trim that right there. Because I'm happy for that one to go there and I'm gonna trim the end off a little bit more when I get that on. So just a couple of glue dots on the back there, sorry, dobs of glue and like that. I'm going to trim this off after. Okay. Thinking that one can go out there and that one can probably come down through there. So that's looking quite glimmery and, 
and um, pretty. Let's pop a bit of glue under that one and hold that down. Your fine tip glue pen would be great for this. Uh, glue would be great for this as well. So I'm just going to layer that one onto there. Then I'm going to bring this one down in through that little gap there. So this one, this card's actually quite simple. There's not going to be a lot of stamping for this card. Um, the actual framelits are the star of the show. So I decided that I really wanted to um, accentuate these gorgeous boughs in our beautiful glimmer paper. Okay, so as you can see, that has got a beautiful glimmery corner there. And I'm just going to turn that over and trim those little pieces off. I'm going to leave that one there because I want that to actually pop out. No, I'm going to trim it off too. <laughs> oh, the design process. I have an idea and then I change it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now, I'm going to bring in what I thought would go really, really nicely with this gorgeous designer series paper is our beautiful seaside spray ribbon. So I want to bring that down through there. So I'm just going to grab some double-sided tape and pop some double-sided tape on the back of my card so I can glue my ribbon into it. So just a piece there and another piece there. Okay, so we're just going to pop off that backing tape and the other one there. And then with our ribbon, we're just going to line our ribbon up on the front where we think we want to have it, which I think it's quite nice sitting up through there. So I'm just going to wrap one end around and pop it into the glue and then you just tighten it and get it nice and straight and wrap the other end around. Okay, so when you look at your card front and you see that it's nice and straight, that needs to go up a little tiny bit. You look at your card front and you see that it's nice and straight, then you can trim your end off. Okay, so now I'm actually going to pop that up on dimensionals. And once again, I'm using the end of my dimensionals here, all the outside edges, because there's still so many um, pieces that you can use on the outside of your dimensionals. And nobody sees behind our cards, so they have no idea what shape or how our dimensionals look in behind that card. So we'll take those backings off. And this is a stunning set. Um, I think you could use it for birthday cards as well. Just change up the sentiment and change up the colors, like give it a really nice fall type of look and um, you could get a great different card as well. Okay, so now I'm actually going to grab a piece of our Whisper White and I'm hoping that piece is big enough. Will that fit that? Yes, it will just. So I'm actually going to cut that out first because I actually have to um, line that up. So I'm just going to bring in the big shot. Okay. I normally would stamp first and then cut out the sentiment, but because I'm limited with the cardstock, I want to be able to make sure I get the framelit cut out properly and then I can line my stamp up on it. So we have this gorgeous shape here. So this has a couple of labels in it. So it has 
that one there but it also has this larger one as well so and it creates those nice little cut out pieces as well which is really pretty take out of the way and now with my knight of navy ink pad open that up i'm going to grab a block and pop season's greetings i'm sure that will fit yes it will so we'll pop that onto our block and ink that up in our Knight of Navy and stamp it down. Just need to bring it down a bit so I can see. So stamp that down. Beautiful. Okay, so now I'm just gonna grab some more dimensionals and at the moment, I'm running low on them, so I'll have to use my minis. Or oh, have I got some over here? Maybe over here. There's some. No, they're minis. We'll get a new pack out. So our dimensionals come in a pack of three. There's a hundred per sheet, and we have three sheets in a pack, and they're six dollars. So they're very reasonably priced, and they go a long way. I I use them on nearly every project that I do. And as I said, they go a long way and you can use all the outside edges as well. So, so pop them on the back. And we'll pop that down here, straddling our ribbon. Then I'm gonna bring in my ribbon again. And I'm gonna tie a cute bow because we have to have a bow it's not a card unless we have a bow you've probably noticed by now that I absolutely love bows on everything that I make I don't know why it just ha adds that finishing touch to a card so I've tied a bow I'll trim that off and that end off and we'll pop a bow on there like that. So with my bows, I like to pop them on with double-sided tape and I like to straddle the tape over my ribbon so that it holds my ribbon in place but it also will hold the bow exactly where I want it as well. And it's about probably half an inch of double-sided tape but it's really, really perfect for sticking your bow into and then your bow will sit exactly where you've stuck that bow down. Okay, so then just to finish it off, to add a little bit more sparkle, I just wanna grab my Wink of Stella and once again, grab something that I can whack it on. And this is just going to add a little bit of shimmer all over the front of that card that will give an effect a little bit like snow. So you just grab something hard and just whack it against it. And I'm not sure whether you can see that, but that just creates a gorgeous glimmer and shine to your card. So I hope you enjoyed that quick video. And once again, that was using our Peaceful Bows um, stamp set and the gorgeous framelits that match as well. So. Any of the items that I have used can be purchased right now in my online shopping store. And if you want to look in the show more box down below, you will find all the links to my online shopping. I would really, really appreciate your business. I would love to invite you to my VIP customer rewards program. When you purchase increments of $100, you get a loyalty tag. When you um, collect 10 tags, you get a shopping spree from me to a certain value. And I would love to make you a part of my special VIP customer group on Facebook as well. So hopefully you enjoyed that. If this is the first time you've watched, I'm Donna Gray, Stamping Up Demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. I sell all crafting products from stamps, inks, cardstock, anything you need for your crafting needs for card making, scrapbooking. We sell ribbons, embellishments. We sell absolutely everything you need for your crafting needs. 
If this is the first time and you haven't subscribed to my my channel, please feel free to hit the subscribe button down in that bottom corner and make sure you hit the bell notification beside the subscribe button. That will give you a notification every time I upload a video or I go live on my YouTube channel. So thank you all for watching and until next time, happy crafting. Bye for now.